Hi everyone, I hope you're well. Today is so sunny outside. Summer is right around the corner and I'm so excited. I just know this summer is going to be good. So yeah, today we're gonna talk about my... Oh wait, I don't know if you wanted to know about my outfit. Mini dress. And then I have a tie that I use as skinny scarf. But yeah, pretty much it. I stole this dress from my mom's. Like, I, I was just going through something in my mom's closet and I found this. So, it wasn't one of my part. Okay, so today I'm very excited because I'm going to share with you guys my 2023 wish list. So, in my 2023 fashion wish list, it's mainly for the summer, some luxury stuff that I... It's not... I say 2023 wish list, but it's not stuff that I want to have like for this year. It could be in 10 years if I still like them. I, I'm in no rush, really. I don't know. I feel like sometimes when something is on trend, something is trending, I really have to put on my wish list. And then as the time goes by, I regularly check if I really want it. So for example, the Adidas Sambas, I would see everywhere on Pinterest, Instagram, and I was like, maybe I need one. But I'm so, like, I deep down, I know that I'm a commerce girl through and through. So I didn't feel like I needed those sneakers. And then I would see them in person. I was like, ugh, I, I don't think that's for me. I don't know. From I just love my converse so much, so yeah. Starting with denim skirts, maxi denim skirts. I just love denim so much, so it would make sense that I have a denim skirt. I'm gonna put examples here of types of denim skirts that I really like. But yeah, denim skirts are really... Um, I've been eyeing those. But to be honest, now that it's summer, I don't think... I don't, I don't want to say that it's impractical, but it's just... I don't know. I have not really been gravitating towards denim maxi skirt. I know that the stuff are red motor cross jackets, I would say. Uh, I've been seeing one, I think it's like Renee Bellerive. I saw her wear one of her jackets and I was like, oh, wow. And I know I love black so much, but I think for this type of jacket, I would need it red just as a pop of color. But then I'm looking at it more and I'm just like, mm, it's it's more my meh. At this point, I'm, I don't have a wish list, it's more of a meh. I have these knee-high boots, but I can't wear heels <laughs> and these heels are a bit too big for me and you could be like, girl, that's nothing. Well, to me, it's a lot. I am kind of struggling and I want to wear those, you know, on a night out or just going out with friends. But yeah, so I'm looking for that same knee-high boots, like the same structure, but just a smaller heel. Um, that would just make my life easier. I don't necessarily want pointy heels, but just smaller heels so they're more comfortable. I know people say the closer, you, the higher the heel, the closer you are to God. But I just like to stay grounded, you know? I, me and the, and the earth were bestie, you know? And oh, for some reason, boots that have that big gap on your, I don't know what's it called, your, not thighs, your legs. It just throws me off. I need not to be tight tight, but just it goes nicely with your legs. You know, I'm very particular. That's why I don't shop often. Okay, now that I'm looking at this, I'm not I don't want it. <laughs> but it was denim coat, the trench coat type, but in denim. I'm still gonna put pictures. But then I'm looking at it, I'm just like that's I just like I don't need it. I, I don't. Why why why? I don't know. I see, and then I have bag. I, this style of baggy um, jeans that I'm really interested in, but it's not. It's I know what the concept of wish list is, but it's just at this point, it's just I like it on this person. But to be honest with me, I'm I'm really happy with the five or six pair of denims that I already have. I'm happy with what I have. Okay, one thing I do, I'm very interested in is those pet suit, you know, like work attire, um, especially the one with the stripes, I'm really into it. And also because, you know, you're graduating and you have to be in the workforce and everything, you kind of have to like go through that, not, I mean, to be honest, my clothes are not too far off of the attire sometimes, but it's just, I want proper work attire. 
also, but it, it can also be really casual if you have a white t-shirt and sneakers, so very excited for this. Okay, I not gonna lie, the New Balance 530 are they're cute, but the gray ones, ooh, the it's like the gray navy ones, but these are really cute. I have this pair, this pair of Geox. They were white and blue, and I would wear them a lot of times. Ooh, this I'm really excited. It's a uh, silk and satin pajamas. I really want to be put together when I'm going to sleep. I was reading, it was a, uh, I was reading this book. Maybe it was like early this year. Oh yeah, the quote was, you should go to bed in the expectation that you might be woken up by a fireman. So uh, just like, I want to be put together. And silk has a nice feeling on your body. It, like, it's just, yeah, I want that. And I want shorts, I want long pants, I want um, short sleeve or long sleeve. To be honest, I, I saw the picture, I was like, mm, maybe but i'm not in a hurry and it was those white baggy uh, pants trousers whatever you call them especially for the summer that would be really nice and when it's very hot you don't want something very too tight see white is the color that i'm very scared of wearing i don't know why it's just when there's white it's so easy to get stains to get everything and i'm I'm not saying that I'm careful, but it's just like I don't want to be worried about oh my god, there's a stain on my stuff and it's ruining the. No, I I just want to wear it and be like okay, I'm done. <laughs> okay, this has been all you've seen it all everywhere, but it's those big baggy shorts or jorts and especially denim or the the, the work attire type style with the stripes or in uh, I want to say the tie at the end. Yeah, just I like it, but the thing is. With those type of shorts, do I want something that cuts right above my knees or like they go way lower? Not the more I'm looking at it, I think I would just need one pair and then it's a great piece to have during the summer and I would say also during fall, fall or spring if you have a nice knee high boot and it's not too cold. I don't know, Vesta is very popular. Sometimes when something is very tight, I just want to breathe. I just want to be able to go on the web and say the guys let's go eat and not be worried that i don't know but the one that i saw was really nice as i'm going through this video i'm just like yeah it's nice but i don't want it <laughs> on to the luxury side i can't afford but i'm telling myself that one day i definitely will the first two i no, well, it's one item just in multiple colors it's these Prada slip back pumps and they have it in black and blue and white and other colors but the ones that i've been eyeing, eyeing, eyeing are black, blue, and white. And they just have the perfect mini heel. I feel like I would be just comfortable for all day, every day. And the side material, like this material on the side, feels like very casual because it's kind of, it gives that sneaker vibe. Uh, then there's, I don't really, I haven't worn belts in ages to be honest. I don't know why. But sometimes it feels good to have that security of a belt. And this one belt, it's an Hermes. Kelly belt. It looks good, sleek, it's simple, and I like the fact that it's adjustable. It's it's not the regular belts with the holes, but this is just adjustable like through the sides. Oh, I love it. I would like to have it. I've seen then it's just like it's not that's in 30, 40 years. I really don't care. But I don't know, I feel like I would be a Birkin woman or a kelly you know you're picking up your kids no that's actually like in 30 years i don't know what i'm talking about what what is it in my 2023 wish list if I, it's if i want it in 30 years i don't know but i'm just saying speaking to the universe if i were to ever get a ms bag it would be a Birkin or a kelly but it has to be black with gold hardware i cannot do silver silver does not fit me gold it has to be gold, not rose gold, just gold, plain gold. At first, I was telling myself, I want the, uh, was it Solier? I think that's the ones that are very structured. But over time, I'm just thinking, I want something a bit more loose, and then I can always add a um, bag organizer, just if I want to keep everything in check. Another bag that I've seen are the Goyard. I think in English, you say Goyard bags. <laughs> but the blue one, I've been, I look, every time I look at it, I'm like, I could have it. I could literally have it. It's, I don't, I don't know how to explain this. This would be the perfect bag for school or for traveling, the blue one. The black one is also cute. I was usually, black is just my safe color, but the blue one, oh, 
C'est trop beau. So beautiful. My honorable mention, I love jeans. And I saw these Chloe jeans. And the detailing on the side, it's just like those waves. Oh, oh c'est trop beau. I love it. I just... I just want to have it. <laughs> I love. I don't know why I love denim so much, but it's just I do. I feel like I don't know how to properly vintage shopping or secondhand shopping, thrift shopping because I, get, I just get discouraged and rather because I know I could get pretty good deals on on Vinted or Depop or other thrift shops, but I don't know. It's just it's so much work and you really have to be dedicated to actually go through it. But then it just. Throughout the process, you're actually going through that process of actually finding the, the item that you want. You're really being tough all about your purchase, whereas you can just, if you can go online any day and just purchase something random and you're more likely to regret your purchase. Whereas when you're looking through three shop after three shop after three shop, you're more, you're, you, appreciate, you get to appreciate more your items. Yeah. But other than that, I have nothing else to tell you. So I hope you like the video and I'll see you guys next time.